In my last video, I exposed the mysterious processing step that happens when downloading via the DJI Fly app and proved it was automatically compressing your footage and causing a drop in bitrate. Thanks to a helpful viewer, we know this compression is actually a feature, not a bug, and it can be turned off. But while testing that fix, I uncovered an even bigger, undocumented surprise. The DJI Fly app doesn't just process the file on your phone, it actively modifies the original master file sitting right on the Neo 2's internal memory. This changes everything we thought we knew about the workflow. So let's dive in. First, how to disable the compression. And second, how the app is secretly altering your original files. Now let's dive into it how to disable the compression. First, open the album. From here, with the three dots, you reach the settings. And here, settings make sure that skin effects are switched off, like I have it over here. As soon as you've done it, you can now start to select the videos you want to download. So hit this one, do batch select. And uh, for test purpose, let's only take one and start the download. And done. No processing at all. So this seems to work. If you use Neo2's feature to record audio via your phone, you initially start with two separate files, the video footage and the audio track. And this is a view of Neo2's internal storage before downloading via the DJI Fly app. Notice that the date created and date modified timestamps are virtually the same. But here's a catch. When you download via the DJI Fly app, a second automatic step kicks in. The audio gets mixed into your video. And surprisingly, this happens not only to the copy on your phone, but actually updates the original video file right on Neo2's internal memory. If you compare the date created and the date modified timestamps after downloading, you see the proof. The DJI Fly app has actually gone back and mixed the audio into your original video file. And the toggles for skin and body effects do not change this behavior. Whether they are on or off, the app will embed the audio into the downloaded file on your phone and write directly into the master video file on the Neo2's internal memory. Now to summarize, here are your options. With toggle switch to on, the DJI Fly app downloads a compressed video, lower bitrate, that includes the audio mixed in. In case audio was recorded, the video on the Neo 2's internal storage is updated to include the audio track and remains in its original uncompressed bitrate. The trade-off? This mixing process can take a long time, especially since the app must stay in the foreground on your device. With toggles switched to off, the DJI Fly app downloads a rigid bitrate video that will include the audio. The video on the Neo 2's internal storage is also updated with the audio mixed in, but the video remaining in its original bitrate. Again, this only happens if audio is present, otherwise the internal file is left alone. The advantage? This results in a much faster download delivered at original quality. So these are your options. For original quality and download speed, you must switch those toggles off. Just remember that the app is still reaching into your drone to update the master file in case there is an audio track present, so if you don't want this, you should download by cable. Thank you so much for watching, and especially thanks to the community who helped solve this initial mystery. If this follow-up video saved your time or improved your footage, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Fly safe and I'll catch you in the next one.